And some are still questioning the use of force against protesters in Ferguson. With video showing officers in military gear confronting people, the Ferguson Police Department received much of that equipment from the Department of Defense under a grant program that gives gear to law enforcement agencies, including here in Mobile. News 5's Alan Carter has more on the ongoing debate about the militarization of police. They're suited up and geared up, police officers in Ferguson, Missouri, that look more like soldiers in Afghanistan. The scenes have sparked debate about the militarization of police. The fact that they're wearing military-style uniforms was very provocative. Had they been wearing uh, police blues, I think there would have been a different feeling. And apartments often get the equipment for free. Last year, $450 million worth went to state and local police. This is excess equipment the taxpayers have paid for, we're not using anymore. And it is made available to law enforcement agencies if they want it and if they qualify for it. The Mobile Police Department is holding on to more than 500 AR-15 rifles they got from the Department of Defense. Uh, not all of them will stay with the police department. Um, they were acquired uh, a couple of years ago through our previous administration uh, and actually have not yet been issued. It's ballistically armored. It has no offensive weapons on it whatsoever, but it does stop uh, large rifle rounds. Though it's not military issue, the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office just purchased a new armored vehicle for their SWAT team. They train hard, they work hard, and this helps guarantee that we get them home at night. And, and uh, it's a big day for Baldwin County Sheriff's Office to be able to have this. It certainly looks fierce continuing the debate of whether these types of vehicles are really needed on city streets. But for Major Anthony Lowry, the debate ends with saving lives. 20 years ago, people didn't wear a bulletproof vest every day. You know, we've had some deputies shot here in Baldwin County, and the sheriff made a commitment to the guys uh, that work for the sheriff's office that I'll do everything I can to protect you, and this is part of that. And again, the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office did not receive their vehicle from the DOD, but it did cost them $222,000 using seized money, like from narcotic off investigations. However, for the time being, in an, inter in an interesting note, the state of Alabama has actually been suspended from the program to get that military gear, reportedly for accountability and paperwork issues. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5. Thank you.